Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to War on the Sea. Episode 23. The Guadalcanal fight is still going strong. Uh, no idea who's going to win this at any point, because we're still, I think, half and half. Currently, my bigger concern is the Rental Islands. I have a convoy heading that way. They should be arriving there within a day or so, and that allows me to then hopefully maintain this position. In the meanwhile, the submarines, Amberjack, uh, Albacore, Barb, Grunion and Guardfish are going to be wreaking havoc amongst transports which might come out of the Shortland Islands, Bougainville, Buka, Rabal, Cape Hoskinson or whatever of the other positions that they might spawn ships from. I think however it's, yeah it's Rabal. You know what, we're going to start blockading Rabal. Set a course here. Of course I don't know if the AI works with spawning ships in the middle of nowhere. Or if they're capable of um, just spawning ships at their harbor. At any point, I'm going to make sure that whatever tries to come in from here gets knocked out. And five submarines should be capable of doing just that. In the meanwhile, the sneaky boys, or whatever's left of it, the growler is going to come home. Hopefully, in this episode, I can sink another destroyer, transport, whatever, and get the growler another buddy so that they can operate in a group of two. Meanwhile, TF-20 is going to head far west and ensure that this port here, Port Moresby, cannot get attacked again. I'm also working with Task Force 14 to, well, hunt down destroyers and submarines if they happen to come across me. And in the meanwhile, wait for Task Force 18 to come in. The really sizable, punchy task force consisting of the Washington, the Hornet and their escorts. So, let's get to looking for a target. Kingfisher, set a course. An aircraft spotted. Oh, great. That's problematic. Because I'm using a scout aircraft and I'm getting attacked by probably a fighter. Can we just leave? Oh, we can leave in 30 seconds. What? Whoa. Hold on. New ship? Ah. So you guys are still operating in the region, huh? That's interesting to know. Now, it is daytime. It's 1335. By the time that my aircraft from the Hornet get here, I might be able to strike them. So what I'm going to try and do is launch all the aircraft from the Yorktown. And I'm thinking using the Avengers with torpedoes against the cruisers and Avengers with rocket pods against the destroyers. So that they each have their ideal loadout against the targets. So we know that they're here, between Guadalcanal and the Florida Islands. If I launch aircraft now, could they make it? How far is that? 199 nautical miles. Probably not, so maybe I'm going to have to postpone this attack till tomorrow. Otherwise, I won't be able to get my aircraft out there and back. Tuscaloosa ready to launch aircraft, that's great. But unfortunately, I don't really have that much that I can currently do with them. I mean, sure, I could scout. Scouting is always good to do. So let's send up the air wing. Well, I mean the one kingfisher. And just do a scouting run here. So I need to know where slash if these guys are coming out. Bonefish and Cod are going to maneuver their way towards the position where the cruisers were last seen. So I might be able to find them there. And we are craft spotted near Guardfish. That's all the way over here, next to the Shortland Islands. Oh, I have to begin? Okay, fine. Um, th let's not go to 500 feet. That might be a bit much for this hole. Just dive. Can we already leave? Because I'm not looking forward to this fight. There's just not that much that I can do against an aircraft, nor are they against me. Well, that's not strictly true. They could try and launch depth charges at me. Goodbye. Okay. Ah, it's 1659. It's too... Well, it, hmm. Screw it, we're launching. Uh, launch aircraft from Hornet. Why do I only have half an air wing? Oh. I have a full wing, but I can only launch 12. Got it. Um, 
Yeah, screw it. We're launching 12 with torpedoes. Off you go. Let's see if we can find that heavy cruiser group again. Just one minute before no launch is possible anymore. ETA? 12 hours? Jesus. Okay. Hornet ready to launch aircraft. Yeah, right. About that. I can say I want to launch aircraft. But it's probably not going to work, is it? Uh, rocket pods. What? Oh. Oh, is it 1800, the cutoff point? I thought it was 1700. I guess aircraft carriers have a longer working time than just 9 to 5. Now, are they still out here? This Kingfisher is just hovering, I guess. I just hope that I don't encounter any fighters here. An aircraft spot near Guardfish. Again. That's the submarine again. They're going to keep launching from the Shortland Islands, aren't they? And I have to start it too. Fine. That was another sort of no-show encounter over there. Okay. Where are your cruisers at? We saw them heading in this direction. There they are. Enemy ship spotted near the Avengers. Excellent. Go. Now, it's going to be a bit of a sizable attack, but I'm going to use six Avengers against one ship. The main targets are the cruisers. That's really the only thing that I want to hit. Um, four, five, oh, and the Kingfisher. No, I don't need the Kingfisher. There. So two flights. We're going to attack the cruiser. Enemy ship spotted. Are you... Okay. I guess they just departed? From... What is that? Florida Islands? Maybe. Now, we're going to have one group come in from here. And the other group come in from here. And I want a formation of uh, all of these guys in a... Not a line ahead, please. Just make it a Vic. 7, 8, 9, 12, 11. There we go. Form up in a Vic. Because that whole line thing does not work very well. I could go line abreast. But... Actually, that might be better. Form up. There. Same for these guys. I love how they instantly surge forward. <laughs> Not caring whatsoever. Alright. Uh, wing 1, target 1. Wing 2, target 2. Now, ideally, by using a strike like this, I'll also be able to have anything that I don't actually hit still strike the other wing, or the other target. I just think that we're going to be doing a few loops going down. Yeah, see? Because we're... We're too high up. That's my issue here. We're too high up. Look at this, though. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so you guys are looping down. You guys are also looping down. That is some freaking formation flying over there. Well done to the pilots. Well done, indeed. Alright, how high are you guys? 1,700 feet. You're going to have to do another loop, probably. Range to the target, 2,700 yards. Yeah, we're doing another loop. You guys, altitude, 30... No, uh, 800 yards. The thing is, your position is not great. Turn away, turn away, turn away, turn away. Not yet. The first wing is going in now. The torpedoes are all away. Oh, beautiful. That could very well hit both of them. We lost one of the Avengers. Increase the flank, get up to altitude. Ooh, you're in trouble, sir. Hit. 
Two only? Oh, two duds. Of course. Now, will this torpedo continue on and hit the other target? Yes or no? Come left. Probably not. Eleven and twelve form up line abreast. I want you guys to hit the other cruiser again. So, flight seven over here. As these four is going to go for target two. Flight eleven, or led by flight eleven, is going to go for the other target. Hold on. Fall away, or pull away from the target. Now engage, because otherwise you might hit the other cruiser accidentally. I don't want any more duds, though. I know I can turn it off, but I don't want to. Drop, 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 drop. Quick. Quick. Shit, lost one. Torpedo away, increase the flank. I know it's an aircraft, but whatever. Kingfisher leaving the engagement area, that's fine. Oh, you're dodging, huh? Lost another Avenger. Still, the damage might be done here. One torp. Two. Yeah. I think I got both cruisers there. At the expense of four Avengers. Yikes. Okay, so you guys don't apparently have the brain power to actually avoid anything that you fly into. And neither do you, but you're fine. So, do we have critical damage here? No, we have heavy damage and critical flooding. Okay. Leave. They're not dead yet. Fine, we'll have to hit them again. Task Force 18 might be able to finish them off, and the Avengers with the rocket pods are going to go for the destroyers. But we're going to have to wait a little bit, because that task force is out of action for 60 minutes of in-game time. You guys, over here. Join up with the TF-18. It's going to be a full 10-ship division. And anything else happening that I need to pay attention to? Sneaky boys, uh, you need to be rearmed, I think. Good. And the Enterprise also needs to get rearmed. Crap, they're not close enough. Yeah, let's sail around all over the place, shall we? Let's not. Go here. Now, I think we're almost at the point where we can... There we go. Hello again. TF-18 is going to attack them, but maybe the Avengers are close enough to lend some assistance. Land a hand. Yep, they're here. Good. So the Bonefish and the Cod can take out the Cruisers, and then the Avengers can take out the Destroyers. Maybe I'm going to use the Avengers first to ensure that the Destroyers don't pose a threat to the submarines. So let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, play you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vic, form up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Vic, form up. And then Kingfish and. No, not Kingfish and Avenger. Uh, Bonefish and Cod. Line up. Line abreast. Me radar. New ship. D no, now they're heading directly to another shore. Very good. Status? Heavy damage. The other one's not looking too happy either. What's the range relative to the, the ships here? 14,000. Okay, that's going to take a while. Good. Let's have the Avenger flights come in. 
One here. One here. Time acceleration times five, because we're still at a pretty grave distance from the targets. Oh, they're heading away. Where are they? I'm not sure what they're doing, actually. Target 2 is a destroyer. Hold on, what are my submarines doing? Because they seem to be very close together. Bonefish caught, uh, make it a thousand yards. Good. Alright, then for the aircraft. This is the first time that I'm using rocket pods. This is your target. And that's your target. Now I want to strike them from the side. Whoops, that's the Kingfisher. Uh, you. Yeah, continue on your course, just go there. The other Avenger flight. To there. I don't think they know about the submarines yet. They probably know about the aircraft. And ideally, they cannot do anything against it. Um, let's go lower, make your altitude about 800 feet. Range, 9,600 yards. Altitude, 2800 and dropping quickly. Good. Because we need to be almost, I think, almost water level or water line to enable this attack. Or to affect this attack. Yeah, fine. Go to 490. I need two to engage first. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. With rocket pods, they all go solo. Right. So organizing the wing doesn't really matter that much. There we go, they all go solo. You can see the rocket pods under the wings there. I think this cruiser might be dead in the water. This cruiser's still making speed, but not a lot. Good. We can intercept them and kill them. Now, you are about to be subjected to a whole lot of rockets. This is World of Warships all over again, isn't it? Rocket pods against destroyers. This is kind of why I stopped playing that game. I think we're going to see target 2 and 3 get attacked almost simultaneously here. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> all the Avengers should have just used use all. Uh, increase to 1,000 feet, increase to full speed. And just get the hell out. Now, how much damage did that do to the destroyers? Minor damage. And minor flooding. Really? But heavy damage against the other destroyer. That would probably be you. You know what? I could strafe him. It's slightly unorthodox, but I could strafe the target. <laughs> oh no, they're coming back. Oh. That was three sinking. Shit. Uh, everybody. Everybody but not you. Strafe the surviving destroyer. I hope you guys can still turn in time. Hold on. Okay, yeah, there you go. 
I was wondering, do they even have front-mounted machine guns? Unfortunately, yes, they do. Yes, they do indeed. I just don't know how effective it's going to be, because it seems that the Wildcats have a lot more forward-facing firepower. Let's slow everybody down. Do another attack. I'm having way too much fun with these airstrikes. I mean, ship-to-ship -ship combat's okay, but this is just more efficient. I don't think that that destroyer cares at all. Look at them. Moderate damage, minor flooding. Wow. Is that it? Everybody, get out. Uh, switch all, don't form up. And we're going to get outside of their anti-air range. Good. So we did quite a number on one of their DDs. The other one is heavily damaged. And now it's time for the submarines to engage their targets. In order to do that, we're going to have to intercept them first. This one's still almost dead in the water, I think. Yeah, doing four knots. But the bonefish is not that much faster at nine knots. This is going to take a while. You know what? I might just sink target four and then call in another airstrike on target one. Oh, crap. Okay, um, all the Avengers. We have one stay behind, I guess. No, not really. He's forming up as well. Okay, all of you guys, leave the engagement area. Off you go. Some of them have taken a pretty heavy beating, considering all those smoke trails. It does look good, though. Look at that. Thank you to whoever it was that suggested in the comment section that F10 disables the HUD. That makes it far easier. Now, ship mess identification time. Assuming it's either a Takao... Is it a Takao or Miyogi? Sorry, Miyoko. Mm. Assuming Miyoko class. I'm going to say target 4 is a Miyoko class. Target 1. I think it's the other one. This is going to take me a while. Just to get close enough to launch the torpedoes. So, after sneaking around my prey, the wounded Miyoko, for, I don't know, a good 40, 50 minutes maybe, in game time, I finally managed to get to a pretty decent position. I'm commanding Bonefish. The Miyoko is over there. We're at a range of 2,100 yards, so well within engagement range, with a solution of 96%. The only thing that I don't have is position perpendicular to the Miyoko, but the Miyoko keeps changing course. It's almost like the AI knows that I have submarines in the area and that she's actively steering the Miyoko, insofar as she still steers at four knots, to avoid any kind of an attack. So my plan is to launch torpedoes to a point of, say, here, and then have them change course automatically. It's going to be a, let's say, sort of semi-perpendicular launch. I'm going to try and get to a slightly better position. But I didn't really want to get too close, as I've seen that those gyros do need a bit of room to maneuver. So, from the, um, the perspective of above water level, we're more or less perpendicular to the Miyoko. Of course, I do want to give them a decent amount of lead, but with a solution of 96% and a tor torpedo spread of 2 degrees, it should be fine. Now, you could argue that the Miyoko only needs one more torpedo in order to sink, but these Mark, twin, no, Mark 14s have a small tendency to malfunction, and I'm not looking for any kind of a dud launch. So, to prevent that, or to ensure myself against any kind of duds, I'm launching four, 
I can always get more torpedoes from uh, one of my resupply points. Now, let's start changing course. Hard to port. There we go, that should do. Range, 1500 yards. Solution, 94. I'm not even sure if an active sonar is going to give me any kind of a result. So we're just going to fire. Bonefish, fire torpedoes, two degree spread, weapons away. Look at that. That too looks really good. Four away. Now, watch these things magically change course after the gyro kicks in. There they go. Looks like I might land all four on target. Oh yeah, right amidships. <clears throat> so two degrees spread at that angle is perfectly good. Let's see if this is going to put the cruiser down once and for all. Dud, dud, dud. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Not really good for dud bingo. We have four duds. I'm oh, sorry, three duds and one actual hit. The question is, will this actually sink her or not? Uh, slow to... Well, to full stop, actually. Let's see if she sinks or not. Cause... Yes, Quinn, I know. I'm not sure if she's going to sink either. Uh, I have Quinn in the room with me. And um, <laughs> he's now and then giving some commentary on the game. Oh, wow. Contact 2 is back? Where the hell are you? You're a destroyer? That's not what I was expecting. I thought they had already left. Now, give me a report on the Miyoko. Critical flooding. So, are you going to keep that up? Or do you need one more hit? See, I'm not sure at this point. For good measure, I could just launch another torpedo or two at her. Yeah, let's do it. Firing three torpedoes, two degrees spread. I only have two loaded, however. So, Bonefish launching two torps. Target for Miyoko. Let's see if we're going to play some more uh, dot bingo again. Oh, three torps. There we go. She's done for. Okay, so that's my objective complete. The Miyoko is done. I killed one destroyer, and that leaves one heavy cruiser, uh, heavily damaged, and another destroyer in the AO. That destroyer is over here. You know what? I might be able to take it out as well. It's not an ideal target, and I'd rather use rocket pods or maybe even torpedoes to do it, dropped from aircraft. But we're here anyway. It's just... What's the range? 14,000 yards, but closing pretty quick. But you're damaged, right? N no. You're not. This one was hit with a rocket pod attack as well, but it repaired everything. That's impressive. You know what? I don't want this fight. Nope. I'm not going to take on a destroyer like that. Not if it's fully healthy. Especially since the uh, the Hornet is around. I can always rely on the Hornet to take it out. So, 15 command points gained. Sunk a Miyoko class, at least I think it was. Heavily damaged another. One destroyer down and one full health. Nothing lost except for one aircraft. So, what did we actually sink? Enemy losses. Scroll all the way down. The Nachi, Miyoko class, heavy cruiser. Good. Total ship sunk, 72. Losses of my own, 7. So for now, we're playing about 10 to 1. Uh, total aircraft lost 20. Total aircraft lost on their part, 59. So that's about 3 to 1. Not too bad. And it also means that uh, the sneaky boys, the growler, can get another buddy. So let's get you a new friend. Let's use any of the Gato classes. Um, the Flying Fish. Done. Course. To here. We're going to merge those together and send them out. Anyway, that's my objective done for today. Next time around, we're going to continue hunting for the remainder here. We're going to maneuver Task Force uh, 18 into position. And ensure that we can blockade Guadalcanal some more. 
I'm not intending on doing shore bombardments. I just want to capture the island and, of course, work on Renal. So join me next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.